Good afternoon. I uh, am in Kadishala again, and I'm here this afternoon. And this afternoon, we'll be discussing farm machineries. If you if you watch the video, if you are with us yesterday, okay. If you are with us yesterday when we were discussing about farm workers actually i brought the class up because of farm workers and i was explaining the challenges we have in farm workers and everything and uh, in the process some people actually came up to say some said our issue what exactly it came up that okay what exactly do farmers want how do we simplify our work how do we do it in such a way that we don't have to be depending on the farm workers again that are coming from the foreign countries or that um you know how do we do something to just make to simplify the farm without us going through all the stress or the wala and everything so now in the discussion yesterday some some of us said we need machineries which i agree some of us also said it is not machinery which i also agree now i'm going to be simplifying okay now i'm going to be simplify i'm going to be simplify some of these things how now what is machinery let's define machineries in agriculture we all know what agriculture is. We till the soil, we use or we losing the soil, we spray, we wet, we do this, we do that. Now let's discuss machineries in agriculture. There are uh, different types. There are machineries are what we use to simplify our work. As in you get the sprayer, you get the you get the sprayer, you get the you get the O. Those are the machineries that we use to simplify our work. Now we want to define. Like I told you, I agree with both sides. Some some said said there's no we don't need machinery. It's not really big ma machineries we need. Some said we need machineries to simplify our work so that we won't have those challenges of waiting for farm workers before we can start the farm work again. And we all know, like I said, almost 99% of farmers are back in the challenges of farm machineries. What the tools we use to work on the farm. And yesterday I explained that we are not commercial farmers. We are not commercial and we are not subsistence farmers. We are not commercial because we don't have all those big, big machineries. And we are not subsistence because we are not producing for just what we want to eat. We are producing for the market. Okay, if we are doing that, so what's it? let's define machinery. Simply, I will define machinery. Okay, now, if you want to have a farm, there are different machineries that are meant for different farms. We have the simple, simple tools. We call, I refer to them as tools. When we talk of sprayer, when you talk of um, oars, when you talk of cutlass, when you talk of so many things, they are simple, simple tools. Then we have the machineries, which are the big tractor. Actually, let me say, it's even the tractor. Tractor is the machinery we have on the farm. Because every other thing that is added to the tractor is an attachment. As in, you get the, the arrow, you attach the tractor. You have the, sp uh, the sprayer, you attach the tractor. You have all other machineries are attachment. It's only tractor that is the big machinery. Every other thing is attachment to it. Now, in Nigeria, in our most all of in Nigeria, 80%, like I try to say 70, 80% are farmers on a low scale. On a low scale, like we cannot afford a tractor, not to even talk of uh, uh, getting the attachments. Now, because we cannot... Uh, because if we have tractor, it will be a big advantage. I was saying yesterday that we can, if people form cluster in their locality, now for you to have a cluster, you need to have like, okay, maybe for you to have a cluster, you need to have like, maybe you have, um, maybe you have like 50 farmers or 100 farmers. I remember when I approached uh, spas about some years ago that I want to supply them vegetable. They gave me their list and what they need and they gave me the condition. They want farmers, they want about 40 farmers that have one one acre of land. You know, it means they will be in the same area and then so even if they are giving you tractor or they are getting something for you, you will be able to share with others. It will not be only you. The same thing applies to individual roles. If we want to get a tractor or if we want to buy a machine, uh, machinery, it means if I buy, if I go and get a loan or I, you know, because I don't have the money I, and I got a tractor, it means if I finish using my tractor, maybe there's no other farmers in my locality that will join me to use the tractors. But let's say they're farmer. Now you'll be asking me what of the rural farmers. Yes, the rural farmers will only use your tractor to plow. After plowing, you pack the tractor. It can't do anything for you again. It cannot spray for you. It cannot 
plant for you it can except you have the other attachment to that machine so we this makes it this makes machinery to be a difficult thing for rural farmers to get because in the case that okay most times we don't we can't afford it and most times we are not in the same area so it's ruled the machineries out for us as in the big machinery which is the tractor now simple machinery so people that say we don't need machinery i told you i agree with it too now these are the calculations there i'm a farmer here maybe i'm cultivating i'm cultivating like five acre i'm cultivating like five acre as i'm cultivating like five acre of of uh, i don't need a tractor to do the five acre but i need simple machineries now you see where i said that your farm size determine the kind of machineries you will use and to be candid with you most of us are within the five ten acres farmers five acres ten acres uh, yes we see some only rural fa some rural farmers cultivate 100 acres 200 acres but on those 200 acres the only machineries they use there is still the same tractor after plowing, they don't use anything again. It's any other, every other thing is manual. So they are still coming to join us that are having five acre or two acre or three acres because we are going to be using the same machine, the same simple tools. Now that now brings us to the simple tools we are talking about. Now I've mentioned the advantage and disadvantage of the tractors. One is expensive for rural farmers, and 80% of farmers in Nigeria are. are not afford tractor and that's why when you see people that have the tractor even when they have the tractor they could not easily recoup their money back because most of us that they bring the tractor for some will not use it that's one now the simple tools we have if you follow my page i wrote there today i said a uh, graduate should go and learn wedding and uh, weather fabrications is you know we call them weather now let me tell you about four or five years ago i've been trying to fabricate things I'll go and meet this weather, uh, weather. Yes, we call them weather. I'll go and meet them. Show them the video. Show them the picture. Even sit down and explain. They will say, okay. But when you go back and you are ready, they will give you an excuse. Just two days ago, another one gave me an excuse. You understand what I mean? As in, they will not fabricate for you. It's not that they don't want to stress their brain. They are non-literate and they believe this is beyond them. So this thing that they thought is beyond them should belong to the educated people. Now, the educated people that these things that can do, most of us did not learn this thing in school. We have engineering. I'm not even going to call to the student. We have went through school, but we didn't learn the practical. So if we are, like personally, today, I was really disturbed when uh, the weather yesterday, I wanted, okay, about three years ago too, or four years ago, I fabricated a planter. You see, that planter we are bringing from China, they intentionally make it plastic. That plastic will only last you one planting season. And the next planting season, you have to plant it. You have to buy again. Because it's not rugged. So I tried, I fab actually fabricated. When I start showing video from the farm, I will show you some of these things. So I fabricated a plant, uh, um, something, a planter. When we fabricated the planter, I think I've posted the video online before. I, don't, I can't, I will see if I can check it. So when I planted, when I Fabricated demand use a hard steel. It's so instead of dropping one one like the other one, he was able to. It was dropping three four two three four. So I told him I was thinking by the time he fabricates another one, we we'll get we we'll get it correctly. But he refused to do it again. He said that's not his line of work. He just did that, and it gives him a lot of stress. But if an educated somebody should go and is dedicated and say, look, I want to do this, and you manufacture one or you produce one. And it's simplified. Now, there's another thing with us. Let me be candid. When you are looking at the tools, you look at it, if you produce one, then you put one big money. It's unfortunate because the, we are trying to simplify things. We are trying to bring the price of things down. Then you fabricate one. You don't look at the... You are not supposed to look at the price. You are supposed to look at the, the volume, the turnover. See, let me give you something I've learned. If you are selling anything, if you are selling a product for... 10 10 error and uh, you are making one one error gain it is better for you to sell 1000 of it than you de decide to sell a product for two for 20 error and you are making 10 error gain you understand because your product will stay for long you will not sell 
compared to the person that is turning over faster. So it will make more money than you. So this is, I think, one challenge we have. Like I said, we are discussing truth today. And I'm telling you because now, as far as Nigeria is concerned right now, we don't have machineries on the farm. We don't, it's not machineries we need. It's simple, simple tools. If we have those simple, simple tools, you won't need to be looking for, we won't have to be waiting for, uh, we won't have to be waiting for uh, somebody to come from, than a republic or to come from Burkina Faso to come and do farm work for us. You know why? Because, because we have somebody around. We don't want to do every work again. Nobody wants to do every work. So everyone will be able to push it. Everyone will be able to move the, they are self-propelling. You know what I mean by self-propelling? You know motorcycle when you want to ride Okada. As you sit on the Okada, as you sit on the, you are not the one pushing the motorcycle. The motorcycle have a propeller moving it. All you do is control it. So that is the way simple machineries are working. Like some years ago, I bought one fairly used machinery. I bought one fairly used from um, from Ladipo in Lagos. A tiller, a small mini tiller. When it goes bad, I have to send it to Lagos. Nobody to fix it here. And since then, it's been in Lagos. I learned it's been repaired, but I've not gotten it here. Now, what I'm saying is, so these are the challenges we have. The challenge is that the tools is what we need, the simple tools. If you are frequent online, go Google, just Google simple farm tools or, or whatever. In India, they fabricated, there are even some, some tools. If there are students who work in school, as in uh, postgrad, and the students use it as their final year projects, and that is what they are using on the farm. Yes, I know here too some students did it, but we can't find it on the we can't find them on the farm. So in the farming, in the agribusiness sector, in the agri sector, there are a lot of opportunity, and we have a lot of challenges. And because we have a lot of challenges, make it make us have a lot of opportunities that people need to feel it, feel it. And that is where the simple truth come in. I heard people were saying government, government, government. See, like I keep saying, waiting for government is like waiting forever. You are not get, going to get anything if you keep waiting for government. So it is those simple tools that you need. But for people that want to use machineries, if you want to use machineries, it means you are going to be buying all the couple implements. As in, this, the, if you buy the tractor, you buy the, you get the attachments. You get all the attachments to join it. And that's the best way you can get for your farm equipment. So those are the tools that we need. I know. I've mentioned the advantage. So the simple tools, we go around, except if you have farmers in groups, that is when you can use other tools. Okay? So those are the things that we need for our, for the simple, simple tools. Like I told you, right now, we are all waiting for farm workers to come. We've not started much work because we are waiting for them. And if they did not come, it means most of us will not farm this year. So we need the tools to work. And that is the best thing for us to do. Okay, somebody is asking me, okay, is it on this? Okay, you want to come to Shaki? Send us your address. You can come to Shaki. Yes, sorry. Okay, so I uh have. -huh. So you understand what I'm saying? Sorry, he want to come to my farm, and I've just told him my farm is a consultation. Is a uh, see, I come online and I and I and I give this kind of trainings or this kind of lectures or what do they call it? I shared a lot of informations and everything. So when you are now asking for something extra outside this i'm presenting now i charge you for it as in okay i want to come to your farm i charge you you pay to come to my farm i want to do this i charge you for it you want me to you come in box you want something special something from you okay i want you to train me i have courses i have trainings i have practical my my farm uh my farm is a training center so you can't just tell me look give me your address i'm coming to your place i'm not running i don't know if you understand so for all these ones i put online i think it's okay i've done enough so any other extra thing sorry you have to pay for it Okay, somebody said, what are you two into your farm? <laughs> Obviously, you are just getting to my page. Yeah, I'm, I'm into, um, I do vegetables, as in, I do vegetables, I do uh, tomato, pepper, cucumber, chili pepper, and uh, fresh vegetables majorly, as in, I do fresh vegetables, I use irrigation, as in, I use irrigation, I have a, I, I have a borehole on my farm, there's another farm, we are trying to make water available on the other farm, as in, excavation do excavation and create a mini dam there's something we call rain harvest because right now we are getting into the system if you plant right now and you don't have source of irrigation to support to support what you are planting then obviously you are just gambling see 
the the mistake or the challenge most people have is that okay they assume farming is the easiest thing to do so you just feel when i get seed i get i have the land i got the seed and i plant and i'm good to go at the end of the day you find out that um you find out that it is not so because you will not recover your money back one in during the rainy season there's used to there used to be droughts and when there's drought, all the crop you've planted will die. By the time another another rain comes, your plant is already dead. So you've lost that. That was what happened last year. That was why a lot of farmers lose their investment. And that was why there's food scarcity presently. And that's why when I say food scarcity, it means food is scarce. Food is not as plenty in the market the way it used to be before. Everything, you know what I mean. So it is because of drought that happened. And this, this, that was 2021. And this year, 2022, again, there will be another drought. So uh, there's nine mates, they're in charge of rain and whatever they predict already. And I said, so if you're going to the farm now, you should have your irrigation so that you will not witness the drought. You will not witness the drought. So that is the way it is. If you are really going into farm, you should have your irrigation system so that you will not witness drought, okay? So now, so we've talked about farm machineries, the advantages I've told you. So for incoming people, new people that are just coming, as in, if you want to start your farm, if you're already on the farm, you might already, you've already selected the place where you are, you're already somewhere farming. All you need, all you can do where you are now is, okay, how can I improve on my system? As in, for instance, you're in an area where you don't have much farm, you don't have plenty of farmers. So you should be even one of the first set of people to go for mini tools, to go for simple tools. Why? Because uh, only you cannot afford a tractor, only you cannot bring tractor. I remember, okay, let me give you a story. About four years ago, I went to do a project in Shagamu, in Ogun State. And uh, as of that time, in my area, when we rent tractor, we have access to tractor in my area, Tango, uh, tango for former Oyo State Governor, uh, Ajumobi, Ajumobi or Ajumo, uh, he, he was the one that bought tractors for all the, all the local government, all the 33 local governments. We have tractors, so during the, we lease it, and then we have private people, as in personal private people that have tractors too. So you can easily get tractors in my area during the planting season. Not really easily, you go and book them, and then you get a tractor to go and plow on your farm. Now, when uh, we got it, we get the tractor to come and work for you on the farm. So when I went to work at Shagamu, at Shagamu, I was, because I'm used to having easy access to tractor on my farm, and I want to plow, we want them to plow a place in Shagamu, we started looking for tractor. We couldn't get. As of that time, the tractor cost in my place there was 3000 per acre. You know, we calculate acre here. It was 3000 per acre. Meanwhile, at Shagamu, they were asking for 20,000 20, per hectare. Which means, uh, at 20,000 per hectare, it means um, 20, it means 8,000 per acre. So to me, I was like, it's too expensive, 8,000 to 3,000. But it's from the owner of the farm, he told me, tractor as cars. Even we didn't even see. We have to be begging. So even the one that eventually came said, look, if he's coming, they have to pay for two hectares. Because he cannot bring this, which I understand. He cannot come to that area, you know. The one they will use to transport themselves to the area. Assuming farmers are planting in an area and they want to plow like 100 acres or 100 hectares. It means the tractor, will, the transport is once. The tractor will come, do all the work before it will leave. But if you are the only one in an area and you have five hectares, the tractor will come because of five hectares. You know, that same distance of transport will be the same thing. That is why you cannot easily find tractors in some areas. And that is why it is advisable. If you are just getting to the farm, if you just want to go and start your farm, you should look for area where farmers are concentrated. So that it means that area we have access to tractor. Just like I told you, my area, we have access to tractor in my area. As in, we easily get tractor in my area. So whenever, like now this is March, by, by now the tractor owners will have started servicing their tractors in respiration of rain. So they will start servicing the tractor. So when it is time, they now come in and um, they come and do the work for us. Okay? So it depends on the area where you are. It depends on the area where you are. Sorry, one of my...